Like with different boat entries, we get asked a lot of the time how you can best get out of the water. So what I'm gonna show you now in this workshop is different exit techniques you can use for different types of boats you may be diving on and for different water conditions. To make a good exit, it's all about the underwater preparation. So you're gonna take off the right and left cylinder and prepare them. So you could hand off or you can walk out. We start by switching the regulator, so we have the left post in. Transfer, you can hold the long hose in the left hand. Make sure you complete your safety stop first. Usually everybody wants to get out the water at the same time. So it, once you're prepared, it's just a case of making a really slow ascent, keeping your eyes on the boat ladder. And I've found that everybody's happy to help because it's just a cylinder they're lifting. It's not somebody's BCD full of integrated weights or maybe even a twin set that nobody wants to lift. This is fairly easy to do in calm conditions. When you have rough conditions like this, it's definitely important to practice the underwater exit preparation. And that's why you also stay at five meters and get everything prepared so you don't have the surge and swell to contend with at the surface. This diver surfaced a little bit early, got quite close to the ladder and didn't have the cylinder bolt snap unclipped. That way you're getting too close to the boat. Also it's best to hand the cylinder off with the valve out so the diver on the surface can easily receive it. This leaves the diver in the water an easy ladder exit with no cylinders. We've opted to walk out with the cylinders on. Now these are quite rough conditions, a lot of surge and swell, so it's very important that you time your movement on the ladder with the waves and that if you're the diver waiting to go out you're staying far enough back. Here's an example of the correct handoff. Diver in the water holds the first stage, everything prepared, diver holding the ladder or on land, then reaches, grabs the back of the valve, as you can see here, even in rough conditions like this, cylinder is passed to the diver on land correctly and safely. Here is a repeat in calmer conditions. You can never practice enough the underwater preparation for exit. So guess what? Get practicing. So the key to underwater boat exits, practice donning and doffing your cylinders just like this until you become fluent at it and your muscle memory is built up then you'll be able to do it safely in all conditions.